So there's a story that uh, was just on George Norrie. And let me, before we get started, what do you think about George Norrie? My, my opinions have changed over the years. Now, he's be been a lot of people who watch these videos, a lot of people that cross over maybe from Russian vids, Russian vids, and a lot of the conspiracy channels, conspiracy channels feel that he's a disinfo agent. And, and I don't know that I'm willing to say that. Uh, I don't know that I even think that just yet. But I do know that my attitude has changed. And the fact that I used to think because of the UFO homework and the topics on the show, I used to think they were so open mind, open minded and opposite of mainstream until recently. You know, when you look into other issues uh, like flat earth and other things that are so taboo that George Norrie and them, you know, won't even give it any credit. I feel like he's more of a corporate. It's, it's an entertainment category. His show Coast to Coast. Maybe it initially yeah. started out as fringe stuff and stuff people wouldn't touch. Uh, but I think YouTube's actually taken over that. And George Norrie is more of the... He's like mainstream fringe. Does he's, that make sense? He's like somebody... Yeah, I, that's why I think he's more entertainment. I think yeah. he's more, you know, in some ways a lot like Alex Jones, but he doesn't shout throughout the whole three hours <laughs> and say that we're going yeah. babies and cows. His blood pressure is much, much better off than uh, um, than Alex Jones is, I assure you. Yeah. Yeah, my so opinion's changed on, on Yeah, we'll get into that too. We'll give you elaborate on that. But uh, the main reason we bring George Norrie up is because WikiLeaks is at least back in the news on the Coast to Coast AM show. Uh, George Norrie bringing up that WikiLeaks and Julian Assange is about to release, quote, I'm quoting it because we're going to get to why we did air quotes there, release that the moon landing was indeed a hoax. Now, people may think, that we're going to jump all over this, but they are going to be wrong. Correct. Now, I am one of those who have said on record in one of these discussions and in other places that I am more one, than one. I think yes, <laughs> I am one hundred percent sure we didn't land on the moon. However, I have to uh, call a spade a spade, and this particular story that George reported on, I think, is BS. You know, it was last Thursday. I want to say it was December 29th, The edition of Coast to Coast, Nori basically, you know used this as a news item said oh there's news that assange is about to release documents proving the moon landing was a is a hoax um i think that this story of wikileaks julian assange is definitely bs because it actually goes back i did i did some back research on it the original articles where all this stems from was from april of 2015 and it made a little it made the rounds on the alternative news sites back then and now it's kind of happening again because of the George Norrie comment. Apparently, WikiLeaks documents are revealing the Apollo program was a fraud. The moon landings never happened. Never happened. Never happened. Never happened. Never happened. Never happened. According to new documents scheduled to be released this week by Julian Assange, founder of WikiLeaks, they could reveal damaging information about NASA's Apollo program. Assange, who has lived at Ecuador's London embassy since June of 2012 in fear of being extradited to the United States to face espionage and conspiracy charges arising from leaking thousands of secret diplomatic and military documents, claims that he has had evidence and documents given to him by a government worker that shows that the Apollo program really never set foot never on set the moon. Never set foot never on set the moon. Never set Documents are said to have been handed to the WikiLeaks founder by a retired high-ranking official of NASA that has worked within the government for more than 45 years, according to Assange. Top officials, by the way, of the Chinese space program last year accused the government of the United States of faking the moon landings after the Chinese lunar rover found no evidence, they said, of the Apollo program moon landings after investigating the same area where the Apollo 11 mission landed on July 20th, 1969. This will be an interesting story. But when looking into it, the original, trying to find the original source, the only sources I could find were two in April 15, and it was like worldnewsdaily.net, something like that, and the Boston Leader. And when I looked into the actual websites of these things, they weren't a leader in world news, and they weren't a leader in Boston either. Uh, they were basically like fake news sites set up. Funny part is we, I look, we looked through that uh, fake news when we did that, and they weren't even on the list. 
Oh, really? For fake news sites. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that's strange. When I mean, it's pretty clear, like you said, that these are these are not... Yeah, right. very under the radar fake news sites. Do you, think, do you think he was just trying to grab for content and he saw that and he said, oh, I'm going to throw that out there and he kind of did it. Very, yeah. very lazy I research. Think the producers reported. were lazy, maybe. You know, the guys who, who get the pre-show notes ready and they put the news tidbits in his, his program for him. I think those guys um, maybe didn't research the original source of that news. Yeah. And it took me five minutes, by the way, not to call those guys out for not doing their jobs. Well, but it's five saying, minutes longer than CNN or any of the other mainstream. <laughs> right, no one else has even taken that maybe much he did time. Two minutes. <laughs> That'll give him a little bit of credit. Yeah. So it, your opinion of him though, the, this reinforces the change in an in opinion of George Norrie that he's not really trying to find the truth. Correct. And I, and I have to, um, I just have to ask, you know, I, I don't believe he's a shill or a paid agent or anything like that. <laughs> I'm not into calling people that, you know. He's a paid DJ. Right, right. He's a, he's a paid DJ and he, he probably does really well because the but audience. That's what I mean. He's a paid radio show host. He is paid. Yes. But he's trying not to, I don't think he's trying to put out uh, or someone's feeding him to put out disinformation. No. I think what he's doing is the disinformation that's coming forward is strictly because he needs to entertain the biggest audience and the most people that he can have to get the ratings so he continues to have a job. He's got to fill, what, three hours a night? Yeah, a four. I think it's four, four. hours. Four hours and, and on the radio. callers and people that are yeah. really... Uh, and guests and that sort of thing. I mean, you've got four hours of, of content to produce, and it's a nightly show, right? Um, he has different guys on the weekend, I believe. But I think George Norrie still does like Monday through Thursday nights. But yeah, he's got a lot of content to squeeze in there. And I used to think, this sums it up for me, I think. I used to think that George Norrie and Coast to Coast was the out of the box show. It was the place to go for news that was out of the box, right? But now I just think that they're like the edge of the box itself. Out of the box is like flat earth, other conspiracy stuff, you know, that they don't really give much credit to. Well, I don't think flat earth would equal ratings. As much as UFOs and Area 51, which they've done, they, they've done ad nauseum about alien life. About These days, I think it would draw ratings when you consider a YouTube search of the words flat earth will bring you 14 million results if they well, haven't changed true. that. Yeah, but, you know, it's old media versus new media. Maybe true. George Norrie doesn't. Re- There's somebody else uploading his YouTube videos and, and the audio yeah. for a show you may not even know what a podcast is. And we're not. We're not, I'm not George Norrie no. is probably one of the pioneers of the category. Yes. Oh, yes. And but I, I want to make sure that no one out there thinks that I'm dissing George Norrie and, and Art Bell and those guys. With and the, the commenters. There'll be plenty of right, commenters to do Norrie, that. Right. Yeah, exactly. If you want to bash or you want to take a form, that's fine. But no, no, I respect what they did. They kind of opened the door for alternative news because for so long they covered the topics that no That was my first no exposure would. and yours probably. Before we even yes. knew anything about yes. this. When nothing else was around, hell, when the internet wasn't uh, as available as it is today, Coast to Coast was. You could still listen to that on AM, on, on different stations. So, no, much props to George Norrie and what they've done with Coast to Coast. But I, my opinion has definitely changed over the last few years. I think the, the, uh, the whole synopsis for the video, though, is we wanted to tell people that, you know, just because it's a subject that we may lean one way one way or another. So leaning towards more towards a moon landing not occurring. When this comes out, we have to piece together or differentiate, I should say, and let people know that this isn't real. Yeah. Or or this is not a source that you need to Yeah. To, we want to provide the most you know, we don't know everything. Once no. I said, once again, we're not right about everything, but we do as much research as we can. And when sure. we're wrong, we'll put something up there saying. And we, right. And when we don't know, we say we don't know. No. And most uh, of the stuff we really don't know yet. <laughs> right. And I'm just personally, per, uh, speaking from personal uh, feelings here, again, I'm 100% convinced that we didn't land on the moon, but I'm not ready to take something like this and just run with it and say, look, see, WikiLeaks such and such, and, you know, is, is about to release proof, proof, finally. I'm not doing that because just, like I say, three minutes of research into this story, and you can easily see that it was false. 